Thank you for choosing us for your North American self-drive vacation. This video is designed to give you some helpful safety tips whilst on your adventure in the USA and Canada. Beginning this season, many of our RVs are being fitted with advanced safety features, which you may not be familiar with. Please familiarize yourself with these new features, which are explained in your guest guide. Please drive on the right-hand side of the road and strictly follow the road rules and signs. Take extra care at traffic lights, reminding yourself before you turn to stay on the right. When driving, please ensure everyone in the vehicle is seated and wearing a fastened seatbelt or secured in the appropriate child restraint at all times. Your RV is larger and heavier than your usual car. Please drive slower than you usually would and take extra care on highways, narrow and windy roads, ascending and descending hills, and on all non-paved surfaces. Leave plenty of space between you and the vehicle in front of you to allow for a safe braking distance. The larger the RV, the more time you need to allow for safe braking. When traveling down hills, reduce your speed gradually and please use tow haul to assist in a smooth and controlled descent and decrease the risk of overheating your brakes. When parked, always apply the parking brake to prevent the RV from moving. Your RV has a larger turning radius and will require more room than your regular vehicle when turning. Always reduce speed before turning and allow extra space for the tail swing at the rear of the RV. With the exclusion of non-permitted roads and forestry and industry service roads, Apollo and Canadream guests are permitted to travel on unsealed roads provided the road is a recognized state, provincial or federal numbered route. Remember though that unsealed roads can be dangerous. Please slow down when traveling and try to avoid the loose gravel on the edge of the road. When planning your journey for the day, be realistic about the distance you plan to travel. Driver fatigue is a major factor in road accidents. We highly recommend you take a break every two hours. If you have just arrived off a long international flight, we suggest you consider staying local on your first night. Always plan to have enough gas or diesel when driving on long journeys and know where your next gas station is. When refueling your RV, turn your battery disconnect switch and propane valve to the off position. This will prevent the possibility of sparks igniting the fuel supply. Remember to turn both back on after refueling and check your fridge is operating. It is not unusual to see wildlife on the roads in North America, including moose, bears, elk, and bison. While it is more common to see wildlife between dusk and dawn, animals can be on the road at any time, so it is important to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Known wildlife corridors are marked with signposts, so always pay attention to these and take extra care when driving in these areas. Wherever possible, we suggest you try to avoid driving on unfamiliar roads between dusk and dawn. A sticker on the dashboard shows the height of the RV. Consider height when approaching gas stations, underpasses, tunnels, bridges, toll booths, etc. And remember that your RV will not fit in parking garages or in drive through lanes. Avoid traveling too close to overhanging branches and anything which may cause damage to the top of your RV. Most accidents occur at low speeds. Even if your RV is fitted with a backup camera, we ask you to use a spotter outside of the vehicle, especially at campgrounds, gas stations, and when parking, backing up, or maneuvering. Four-way stops may be unfamiliar to many of our guests. Traffic from all directions must come to a complete stop at this type of intersection. If you are the first vehicle to reach the intersection, you have the right to proceed before other traffic. If two vehicles arrive at the intersection at the same time, the vehicle on your right should proceed first. On occasion, you may see a flashing red light at an intersection. You must come to a complete stop and proceed only if the way is clear. It is likely you will encounter highway construction during your trip. Take notice of the maximum speed limits in these areas and be sure to observe them. 
In many parts of North America, the speed fine will double if you are caught exceeding the speed in construction zones. Distracted driving legislation has been enacted in many parts of North America. Heavy fines are levied for using cell phones while driving. Programming digital devices including the radio, GPS, and in some areas, even for eating and drinking while driving. It is important that you keep your eyes on the road at all times and are not distracted in any way when driving your RV. In many cities, you will find school and playground zones where you are required to limit your speed whilst in these areas. Playground zones are enforced between posted hours seven days a week whilst the speed limit in many school zones only applies during school hours. If you are uncertain of the speed to travel in either of these zones, be cautious and slow down to the posted limit until the end of the zone. School buses in North America are yellow. When a school bus has the stop sign out and the red lights flashing on a road which has only one lane of traffic in each direction, you are required to stop in both directions until the bus moves on. On a divided or four-lane road, you are required to stop only if you are traveling in the same direction as the school bus. The weather can be very changeable in Canada and the USA at any time of the year, with four seasons of weather often happening during summer as well as winter. Snow can lie on roadways, particularly at high altitudes, throughout the year. Be aware of predicted weather conditions whenever you are traveling, and where extreme warnings are given, avoid traveling in these areas altogether. We recommend to always check your route and the road conditions before you set off. If there are multiple drivers on your road trip, please make sure you adjust your seat height and distance to the pedals, as well as adjusting your mirrors before setting off. Remember that each driver must be named on the rental contract to be an insured driver. Every time you move your RV, please run through the following checklist. Turn off the furnace or air conditioner and unplug all appliances before disconnecting the electrical cord from the campground power source. Check to confirm your fridge is operating after disconnecting from power. If your fridge operates off an inverter, please turn the inverter on after you have disconnected from the campground power source. Ensure your slide room is in the closed position for traveling. Secure all loose items in the RV. Close all rooftop vents. Remembering the one in the shower. Ensure all outside compartments are securely latched and locked. We wish you an enjoyable and safe vacation.